I love Minecraft nostalgia, and nothing gives me more of it than playing these old Minecraft maps. But sadly, everyone stopped playing them. <laughs> no! So, to change that, I'm gonna upgrade five of Minecraft's most iconic maps and force my friends to play them, starting with the Temple of Notch. But before we upgrade it, we should probably build the actual thing in our world. And I think this is the perfect place for it. This map is from 2011, and of course, it was built to honor the creator of Minecraft, Notch. But when I finished building it, I realized it kind of just blends in with the mountain. So to change that, we need to collect all of the colored dyes, starting with yellow. There we go. There's red. There's pink. Magenta, blue, ooh, and this one is light gray. Now we can steal some cactus from here and smelt this to get some green dye. Then we can combine a bunch of the dyes to get orange, purple, and light blue. Now all we need is black dye, gray dye, and cyan dye. Finally, we can turn all of these dyes into colored concrete powder, duplicate it with this machine, boop, and turn it all into concrete. Let's go! So the first thing we're gonna do is use black concrete to dye his beard black. All right, this is gonna take a little while, but hopefully it should look a lot better. Wait, we should probably also do his eyebrows. We're kind of giving Notch a bit of a makeover. Wait, maybe we should give him a slit in his eyebrow. Wow. <laughs> okay, and before we start going crazy with all the colors, why don't we use some white concrete and actually make his eyes look better? Oh my god, that looks kind of creepy. <laughs> all right, and now let's convert all of this stone into all of the different colors in the game. Okay, so first, let's lay out the pattern that we're going to do it. So we'll do purple, then magenta, then we'll go pink, light gray, then gray, brown, red, orange, yellow, lime, green, cyan, light blue, and dark blue. This is going to look absolutely crazy. If this creeper doesn't blow it up first. No, please. Okay, and then we'll continue the pattern all the way across. Okay, so I'll start with all the purple bits and we'll just do like a straight line down for each color to make sure we stay on the straight line. Yep, I think that's it. Ooh, the mouth. We can also add some white concrete for the teeth. Maybe just here. Yeah, I think that looks good. Do you mind, Mr. Skeleton? I'm trying to build a purple notch. All right, that's purple done. There's magenta done. And there's pink. Now let's finish the other 11 colors. And whilst I was finishing up with the rest of the colors, it dawned on me that we only have six days left until my friends come over and try the maps. So we need to get onto the next map as soon as possible. But before we move on to the next map, all we've really done is transform the look of it. The real Temple of Notch is meant to judge you. If it deemed you worthy, it gave you a few diamonds and gold. But if not, you were slowly burned by lava. Oh no, it's crying. Ah! Now I want to recreate this judgment, but with upgraded punishments and a way more valuable reward. All right, let's quickly create a place where my friends will actually see the Notch Temple from. All right, I think this is a good location. So we'll put a nether portal over here. Okay, that's where they'll come in. Then we'll swap all of this for obsidian as well so they can't escape. Make sure the roof's obsidian as well. Then to make it look sort of dangerous, let's do some black and yellow stripes. I don't know if that looks dangerous. It just kind of looks like a bee. Okay, now here, Let's build some one-way piston doors. So once they go through them, they won't be able to escape. This should work. Yes! And it closes behind, perfect. But now we need to cover this entire area with obsidian. And whilst I'm doing it, let me explain why. You see, instead of killing my friends with lava, I'm going to make Notch shoot TNT out of his nose. Yeah, it's going to be a lot cooler. But I didn't want everything to blow up, and that's why we've got obsidian. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is clear some space inside his nostril. I think we're going to have two TNT cannons, maybe one for each nostril. I think his nostrils might need to look slightly wider. Otherwise, TNT is just going to hit there and blow up. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dispensers on each side. We're gonna have some water here and then a slab here. Now we can use gray blocks all the way here, put redstone on top of all the dispensers and then some redstone repeaters on top of here. We need to get the delay right and I don't really know what to use. This could go really badly, I don't know. And now I think let's just fill it all up with TNT and hope for the best. All right, please let this work. It should fire it right onto that obsidian platform. Oh my god. 
All right, I think I've finally done it. If this blows up his face, I might actually quit YouTube. Come on, please work. Please don't blow up. Come on. Yes! That is perfect. But it'll be even better if we have a second TNT cannon. Please let this work. Yes, it worked. Let's go. Yeah, this is definitely a lot cooler than some lava. However, one cool thing about the original map is that it's controlled by all of this really complicated redstone. But in my version, the fate of my friends is going to be left up to the wheel of chance. And then whichever option the wheel of chance lands on, I will click a button and make it happen. But this method has one big problem. I want the reward to drop on the player's head and I need to control it from inside not his head. So we've got a lot of redstone in to do. Come on, I think this should connect, but let's see if it works. Yes, but of course, redstone is not the valuable thing I was talking about. Instead, I'm going to give them something a lot more valuable to me. My one and only blue axolotl. This guy is so much rarer than diamonds. So with this guy in place, we can finally move on to redesigning our next map. The Dropper. This is a map where the objective is to drop and land in the water. But each level gets harder and harder. This was definitely one of the coolest looking maps when I was growing up. And I remember watching so many different YouTubers play it. So we're going to have to make our version look really cool. To start, I spent five hours building these tubes for each level of my dropper. And I built level one out of stone because my idea for this one is going to be a city with a bunch of skyscrapers coming across that you have to dodge in order to get to the water. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is a bunch of glass for the skyscraper windows. All right, please let me have some glass. Oh... Yes! Alright, now let's get a bunch of these flowers and craft up some dye so we can get loads of different colored windows. We can get blue stained glass, which my friends might confuse for water. And then they will die. Now we're also going to need blocks for the actual skyscrapers, and I think iron will be a good choice for that. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is build a little skyscraper that just goes straight across the middle of it. Nice, but that blue glass definitely looks like water. <laughs> so now to make this even harder, we need to add another skyscraper going across this way. We want to make sure it's covering up all of the water. All right, let's test it out with two skyscrapers. It's already quite hard to get in the hole. Oh my god. We literally only just made it. Let's add a bunch more skyscrapers. I wonder if my friends are actually going to like these maps. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Okay, I think that's enough. I mean, this is pretty hard. Oh, oh. Yes. And I'm thinking we'll have a road going down the wall and maybe around the sides as well. So let's quickly just dig out some space. Okay, now we'll use some yellow and some black for the road. Yeah, I think this effect and then maybe some sidewalks on the side will look even better. All right, now we can't really have a road going through this gap. So I'm going to make the road go around the wall and then down there. Hopefully this actually looks good. Ooh, yeah, that's actually working really well. Now we just need to go around all the other buildings because this one is in the way. So I quickly finished off the road and added a few more finishing touches. Then level one of the dropper was complete. All right, this is only level one and I already think this is quite hard. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god. Yes! Yeah, there's no way my friends are doing that first time. I have had a fair amount of practice. But anyways, level two is going to be much harder because it's much bigger than the previous level and it's also blue. So the water will blend in with the blue blocks. However, right now it's still pretty easy to get right. So let's get building a bunch of obstacles. And this level is going to be ocean themed. The first thing I'm going to build is lots of coral reaching out into the middle of the dropper. Got to try our best to make this thing look like coral. And if we have these on loads of different levels, it's going to be really hard to dodge them. All right, that's all the yellow coral, but it's still looking a bit sparse. So let's add some different colors like red coral and magenta coral. All right, yeah, that's definitely looking a lot better. But is it even possible? Let's get both totems ready. Where is it? Water's there. Come on. 
Yes, that's actually kind of fairly easy, but I think I've got an idea to improve it. And for it, we're gonna need a bunch of wood. Collecting this wood is actually reminding me of the next map we're gonna build, but obviously you'll have to wait to find out what it is. Anyways, I think we've got enough wood, so let's use it to craft a bunch of sticks and then craft a bunch of signs. This won't make sense to you now, but trust me, this is gonna make this dropper so much harder. All right, that's one layer done. There's two layers and we're a officially out of signs. Yeah, we need a lot more wood. Luckily for us, this wood farm might be the most overpowered one in the game. And whilst the machine was running, gamers sent me a message. It said that he's gonna be away on the day we were meant to be playing the finished maps. So we're gonna have to finish all of the maps one day early. This is not good. Anyways, let's finish placing all of these signs. It's gonna be a lot easier if we have some kind of framework to place the signs on. We're just gonna break this afterwards, so we need to make sure we don't place the signs on it like that. Otherwise, all the signs will be deleted. All right, now full speed ahead, placing all of these signs. No, there's mobs. Come on, leave my signs alone. Are they any good at the dropper? Nope. They are bad. And whilst I'm finishing off the rest of these signs, let me tell you why we're actually plating them. So my plan is to have a layer of water over this dropper so that it actually looks like an ocean. So the plan is for this layer of water to sit on all of these signs. And that way when players fall through it, they will still take loads of full damage at the bottom. Now for the moment of truth, will the signs actually support the water? Please work, please work. Yes! And underneath is completely dry. Perfect. But before we can test it actually works, we need to fill the area up with water and remove all of this blue concrete. We need to be very careful not to hit the signs. That would mess up this entire thing. Oh my god. I think I've made a mob spawner. All right, it's finally done. So that is two levels of the dropper complete and one to go. But before we do it, I need a little bit of a break from droppers. So instead, let's fly into the sky and start building our next map. The original Minecraft Skyblock. I remember watching so many YouTubers play this. And whilst I'm having fun playing Skyblock, my idea to upgrade this map is to make it into a race. I'll build an identical Skyblock Island for each of my friends. Then we'll have to use all the resources available and make a cobblestone generator to bridge our way over to the finish line. And the first one there is, of course, the winner. So let's stop messing around here and get to work. And the first thing we need to do is build a nether portal up in the sky where we're going to build the build, as otherwise my friends will have quite a hard time getting up there. Now let's build a portal. Perfect. And now we need to get the stuff to build the actual islands. All right, so the islands are six across. They're just missing a chunk here and they're three blocks deep. So I reckon this should be enough grass and dirt. Now we just need to get the other miscellaneous things that make up the Skyblock Island, such as three oak saplings. Ooh, we can also use some of this wood to craft ourselves up three chests. Now I'm just going to steal these buckets because we now need three buckets of lava. Ooh. Ooh, ice. Wow. We need regular ice, not packed ice. I think this is... Yeah, that's packed ice. Ooh, this is regular ice. And now the last thing we need is the lava. Yes! Three buckets of this. All right, let's build these things. Okay, so we'll start with the middle island and we'll just do the basic outline of it. All right, that's the shape. Now we need to somehow get beneath it and place all the other blocks. So if we just fly... Oh, come on. No, place too many blocks. All right, there's got to be an easier way of doing this. Maybe if we just dig down a bit here and just build a little construction area. All right, yeah, this is a lot easier. <laughs> Ah, that is definitely not the right level. All right, there we go. We have three identical Skyblock Islands. Now we just need to do the simple stuff like placing the trees. And hopefully they grow up like normal trees and not some like massive weird one. And now all of the chests. And we'll have one ice and one lava bucket. Wait. Oh my god, I put packed ice in this one. That would have been so bad. Okay, and whilst we're waiting for the trees to grow, let's build out in this direction and go and build the finish line. I want this finish line to be far enough away that they can't use the dirt blocks only and the wood to get to the finish line. I really want them to have to use the cobblestone generator. So it's kind of like a test of efficiency and how well they manage their blocks. I want the winner to receive something and that thing is going to be a bow with some arrows. So they'll be able to shoot the other two when they're bridging. I have a good game plan for this 
first one. And I guess we'll find out if it's going to work in three days time. That's actually not a lot of time. Now all we need to do is get rid of all of this excess dirt and wait for this final tree to grow. And whilst we're waiting for the tree to grow, the next map we're building is TNT Run. TNT Run is a very popular mini game. The idea is to run and jump on different blocks and hopefully not fall down. And as you can see, there's TNT blocks underneath these blocks, which is what makes the sand and gravel fall. As the game goes on, you run out of blocks to stand on and it becomes a lot more tricky. Oh my God, no! No! I guess we'll have to try and win our TNT run. All right, so the main thing we need for TNT run is, of course, TNT. And for this, we're going to need lots of gunpowder. Okay, I think that's all the gunpowder we're going to need. And we're also going to need loads of sand. So let's grab a little bit from here. And then we can use this machine to duplicate all of the sand. And now we can use this sand to craft up thousands of TNT. And I'm not over-exaggerating when I say thousands, because this thing is going to be massive. Okay. Okay, I think two shulker boxes should be enough. Oh my god, we nearly lost one. So, to make sure our TNT run is as accurate as possible, we need to make sure when the TNT falls, it falls into the void. And the best way to do that is going to be to build it in the end. So, first up, let's just bridge out loads of blocks this way. And now that we're far enough away from our solar system, we can start placing all this TNT. And whilst I was placing these thousands of blocks of TNT, I was thinking about how I was going to upgrade this TNT run so that it's different from all the other ones out there. And after a while, I had an idea. Instead of using sand and gravel as the gravity blocks, we're going to use different types of colored concrete powder. And we're going to do this in a very specific way so that it makes a picture. You see, using this tool, we can generate pixel art for Minecraft. So if we have 40 blocks across, which is how big our build is, then for the picture, we'll go to my second channel here and we're going to steal the logo. We can then upload it. Then we need to choose the blocks that it's allowed to use so none of those blocks none of those blocks and just select all of the different colored concrete powders and it has to be concrete powder because they're gravity blocks and now if we click generate it should give us a plan for our build okay so we have all the resources from our duplicator now let's get to building we're gonna start at the bottom with the big yellow bit this part should be easy it's just a lot of blocks to place and uh, we need to replace that bit of tnt Okay, now the only part left is my head. This part's going to be mainly black and white blocks, I think. Wait, have I messed up? Because I thought this should go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. It should be here instead. And whilst I'm struggling to build its logo, you guys should make sure you're subscribed to my second channel so you guys don't miss out on lots of cool content, like the full version of Gamers and Guild trying out all of these maps. And there we go. My face is finally finished. Anyways, as you can see when I'm walking on it, the TNT isn't activating and it's not falling like it's meant to in TNT Run. So to fix this, there is actually quite a simple solution. All we do is take some stone, spread it like that and craft ourselves a pressure plate. Now it's just a matter of placing this and not accidentally stepping on it like this. Oh my god, it's actually quite easy to fall. I nearly died in the void. The only thing I'm kind of worried about when I'm doing this is if it will actually look good with all the pressure plates on top of it. And if you'll still even be able to see that it's my second channel logo. I guess we're about to find out and the answer is no. Yeah. Not really. It definitely doesn't look as good as before. But I think I might know a way to fix this. So if we download this. Okay, and then we grab this texture pack and put it in. Yes! Oh my god. It actually works. But I now have 27 of nothing in my inventory. But now building this thing so close to my solar system has given me an idea for level three of the dropper. We're gonna make it space themed and it's gonna look really cool. But we're gonna have to do it fast because we've now only got two days left until my friends try out the maps. So the first thing I'm gonna build is the planet Saturn. And we're gonna have this in the middle so they'll have to jump through the rings to drop down. I kind of forgot how long building a planet takes. Okay, that is the actual planet finished. Now we need to build the rings around the side. Ooh, okay, this looks kind of decent. I feel like the ring's a bit small for the planet though. If we extend it, it's going to be touching the walls. But I kind of want the players to have to jump through the ring anyway, so that should work. And let's just test it. Yes! 
That works perfectly. Now, underneath this, I'm going to use a bunch of netherrack and stone to create an asteroid field. This will be really hard for them to dodge. But before we build it, let's get a few more planets. All right, let's test this out with all of the planets added. So you can still fall through in some places, but most of the places are blocked by planets and you actually have to dodge them. But to make this even harder, let's add an asteroid belt. So for the asteroid belt, we're going to use a mixture of stone and netherrack. And I just want to spread this out randomly so that if they're not paying attention, they should at least hit one of these blocks. All right, and now we can get rid of all of this dirt. Come on. This is kind of like a parkour test. Oh, that actually might have given me an idea for the next map, which is going to be the Hunger Games. But before we upgrade that map, we need to add a lot more asteroids because one layer is just too easy to dodge. It's starting to get a lot harder now, but to continue that trend, we're going to build a rocket going across down here. This rocket is going to be very big compared to the planets. We're gonna give it an exhaust here, and then out of the exhaust, we're gonna have some fire, and we'll do that with some different colored stained glass. That looks decent, but maybe if we add some red glass as well. Yeah, that looks a lot better. But now it's finally time to add the water that the players are gonna fall into. But of course, this is the level three dropper, so it's meant to be the hardest. And to make finding this water a lot harder, I'm gonna change all of this floor into the earth. But only one of these ocean blocks is gonna be replaced with water, and it will be up to my friends to make sure they choose the right block. Otherwise, they're going to land on blue concrete. All right, that is earth complete. Where are we going to put our water, though? We need to choose this spot carefully to make it really hard. So we'll have blue concrete underneath to make it even harder to see. And then just some water like that. All right, but is this even possible? There's only one way to find out. We've got this many tries. I literally can't see anything because of the Saturn. All right, here we go. First try. Uh, ow. Oh my God. Oh. Ow. Ow. All right, this one's the one. It definitely wasn't the one. Oh. Uh, ow. Oh. So close. So yeah, I made it a bit too hard. Maybe if we extend this, now it should be a little bit more possible for my friends. And speaking of our friends, we've only got one day left until they come to try out the maps, which means we need to build the final map, the survival games, which of course was based on the popular film slash book, The Hunger Games. So for my version, I'm gonna take that literally and make my players fight on food. So the center where the players are gonna spawn is going to be a golden apple. Now I wanna create loads of island surrounding it made out of every single food item in the game so that this is the true hunger games and whilst i'm designing it here are a few more facts about the survival games it's definitely one of minecraft's most popular maps and it was so popular it spawned multiple different versions of the map you might recognize this one from vicstar 123's hunger game videos also it was one of the first battle royale games meaning it inspired h1z1 pubg and eventually Actually, Fortnite. So if you like Fortnite, you basically have the survival games to thank. Anyways, four hours later, and that is all the food built. Now I'm going to place loot chests all around the map. We'll try and hide them as best we can, but some of them will just have to be obvious. Also, for my version of the Hunger Games, I'm not going to have any chests in the middle because we are playing over the void, so fists can be pretty deadly. Plus, I don't want all my friends to die straight away because this is quite a small map. I'm also going to include three overpowered items that will be spread across the map. The first special item is going to be an ender pearl. The next special item is a bow and five arrows. This is going to be very overpowered and I can only think of one counter to it. Which brings me to special item number three, a shield. This in combination with an axe will be very deadly and hopefully none of my friends use this against me. I've tried my best to spread out the special items all the way across the map. So that way everyone has a chance of getting one. Okay, so there's going to be three of us playing the map. So let's try and get three holes. I'm gonna try and spread them out sort of evenly. Then we'll cover these bits in glass like this. 
Oh my god, this is bringing back memories. Now we're gonna need a piston here and then a gold block on top of here. Okay, now I want these pistons to be controlled by this lever. This should work. Yes! All right, so we'll be in here all stuck and then I'll press the button and we can run, escape and go loot up the chests and try and kill each other. So finally, all the maps have been upgraded and it's very nearly time for my friends to play them. But first, we need to upload my world to my Wise Hosting server so that my friends can join and we can play online. If you want to get your own server, you can use my link in the description for 25% off. And now that my world's on the server, will the maps make them feel nostalgic? And most importantly, will it make them want to play the original maps? It's time to find out. Also, to make things interesting, the winner from each map gets $100. Welcome to the Temple of Notch. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. He's got little nostrils. Notch will now decide your fate. Oh. Notch has spoken. Is he going to sneeze on me or something? Uh-oh. Yeah, hey, that's survivable, isn't it? Ah! No! <laughs> you have been executed by Notch. Wish me luck, gamers. All right, welcome to the Temple of Notch. <laughs> Let's see what he says. <laughs> no! He's not very happy. <laughs> so, nobody won any money in the first one, but that will change in the second map, the dropper. Welcome to the dropper. Can I, can I go? Yep. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good start. <laughs> oh. No, there's glass. Yes, maybe. I'm underwater. Yes, you made it. Yeah. No. Okay, you're going to die instantly on this one. I hope not. Oh, okay. Around with you. Oh, who's going to do it? Me. Oh, we both did it at the exact same time. <laughs> oh, no. It's oh all up to the God. final one. Who's going to win the $100? Ow. That was good. This one's like a million times harder <laughs> than the other ones. It is very hard. I did it one time in practice. Once. <laughs> Are you crazy? No. What if just none of it's water? <laughs> what if the real challenge is the fact that there isn't actually a place to land? Let me drop the mighty oh, drop. I found the water. Oh, no, you. No. Oh, it's so close. Yes. Oh, the... No. Yes. No. He's done it. <laughs> He's won $100. Yay. Oh. <laughs> so, Gilf is now $100 richer as we move on to the next map, Skyblock. And three, two, one, go. <laughs> We're racing. First one there wins $100. You made this. <laughs> what do you mean? It's Skyblock. What do I do? What do I do? I'm overthinking everything. Yeah, so am I. I'm underthinking everything. So there. Like that. And then that. Yes. How's Mr. Gilf doing? I've only just figured out how to make a cobblestone generator. So. <laughs> it's not looking good. This is basically just a game of efficiency. Are you... He made an obsidian. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. You basically lost unless you want to make a tree fall. How far is that? It looks quite far. I'm going. I'm also going. No. No. Are you speed bridging? I'm too scared Good. to speed bridge. I thought you weren't going to think of the slabs. Oh no, we're so close. Well, I think you might have won. I don't know how far it is. I can't look. I don't want to stop and look back in these time. No, 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 no. Yes! No! no! <laughs> oh my god. Let's go! Thankfully, because I won that one, I didn't have to give away any money. Hopefully, I could win again in the next map, TNT Run. I'll do a countdown, 3, 2, 1, and then we all have to jump on. Last one alive wins. All right. 3, 2, 1, go. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, game is one one. <laughs> maybe, maybe we could do another go. <laughs> All right, round two. This ready? is the last round of TNT runs, so don't try not to die straight away. Three, two, one, go. No! 
How? How is game is still alive? <laughs> How have I got a better connection to your server than you? I don't really know what happened with that. But the final redesigned map is the Hunger Games. All right. The final map is the Hunger Games. Follow me, boys. We'll do this last one for $200. Yeah, we'll do the last one for $200. Ooh, okay. Three, two, one. Go. I'm going. An axe. Oh, my God. Leather boots. Wow, that's amazing. Okay. What's this? Oh, yes. That's really good. Cool. Chest plate. I've got nothing good so far. Ooh, gold chest plate. <laughs> It's kind of a bit unfair because I know where the good stuff is, but... Yeah, why are you playing? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's got shield. Ooh. Oh no, I think you guys have got everything. No, 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 I, I think I remember what game he's just got. <laughs> what? I don't know anything. <laughs> he's got a bow and arrow. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> let's team, let's team. <laughs> no. no. Well, you can actually, it's Hunger Games, but... How about we all just take $60 each? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just took sixty dollars from myself. No, no lockdown. <laughs> no, how is there a hole there? <laughs> He's gonna win the two hundred dollars. Come on. Oh. No, what? Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my god! Did you just waste all your arrows? No, I've got loads of them left. Wait, 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 gamers, hear me out. Hear me out. Hundred dollars each. That is not allowed. <laughs> oh, come on. No more deals. Oh. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Gilf is no. the winner! And I used the wrong axe, I had the gold one. So some of the maps worked really well, and some of them not so much. But at the end of the day, we all had fun playing the games, and really, that's what Minecraft maps are all about. If you want to see the full video of me and my friends trying out these maps, then you can watch it on my second channel, or watch one of these videos next. I think I like the left one the best. No, actually, probably the right one. Eh, yeah, they're both good. Watch both. Bye.